Lions are fierce creatures, and uh, you know they roam in packs. And I'm sure if Boo Boo had himself a little basset hound pack, he would uh, probably be the alpha male. I would have to say, because he is very dominant when it comes to other dogs. I've seen him get in a fight with a blue healer, and they're supposed to be far quicker than a basset hound, but he whooped that dog's ass. Lions, you know, they they get up and they they do things when they've got to. You know, when it comes time to work, it's. You know, they're on their game, and they're ready to kill something. He has a girlfriend. It's Facebook official now, I guess. And uh, she's human, which is uh, kind of weird. Kind of weird. It's one of those phases I feel like he's going through. You know, he wants to be rebellious. Uh, Butch usually likes to get about 18 hours of sleep a day, so that only leaves six hours of activity for him. So that's only a quarter of his day where he's actually doing something. He, uh, he, he really loves his R&R time. He loves to sleep, and I mean, if I had the option, I would probably sleep 18 hours a day too, but I can't even get my body to do that without a whole bottle of Ambien and a bottle of Jack Daniels. See, uh, I found Butch on Craigslist, you know, like most companions find one another these days. And uh, yeah, I had to travel about half an hour from my hometown to Blackfoot, Idaho. And uh, I had to knock on a door of this super sketchy house. And I had a super sketchy woman answer the door. And she was super sketchy. I, I don't even know how to explain this woman. The cats in this house, just a whole herd of cats. Kind of like a, like a cat farm or something. It's ridiculous from my perspective. You know, and then I go in the backyard and she's like, oh yeah, Moo Moo's back here. And, and so we go back there and I'm like, oh God, why would she name this dog Moo Moo? My heart would not allow me to leave him there. I had to take him. I mean, I didn't have the money or, you know, the time for a dog, but I knew that maybe I had to. So, uh, Anyways, I told her, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take him. She's like, oh, great. And she's asking me, like, oh, what kind of home he's going to have. And I told him, and I could have said he's going to be living in a box at the bottom of an apartment building. And she would have been, it would have been a hell of a lot better the conditions than he was in. Well, you know, there's the whole special difference between us two. But uh, as for the most part, I feel that if Butch was human or I was dog, we would have pretty much the same routine. I mean, we both wake up far later than we should, and we, uh, we both, first thing we want to do when we wake up is go outside, and uh, I naturally want to have a cigarette, and then he wants to join me. And uh, then after that, you know, gotta, gotta take poop, and that's usually what he does. Everybody poops, and me and Butcher are no different. <laughs> it's just a normal day. I've got things to attend to, and Butch doesn't, so he sleeps a lot and enjoys life. I believe Butch is the epitome of what all men wish to have in a companion, a friend. And uh, I feel that a dog is just a, a thing that can, it's, it's irreplaceable within the realms of nature. And uh, all, all men should know what it's like to be truly loved by something in this universe. And that's what a dog can be for a person. Amen. and
than a ticket of gold I'll bring you home